What's good, y'all? You back with streets? Freestyle cooking with streets. Thanks for tuning in. Hope everybody out there is safe and healthy. We got another one for y'all, man. Got another fresh recipe that I wanted to share with y'all. Real easy, quick, and simple. So I decided to, you know, hop on the can and share with my people. You know what I mean? And anyone tuning in for the first time, thanks for tuning in. Welcome. Please hit that subscribe button because trust, there's a whole lot of great recipes on my channel that you'll absolutely love. Alright, so we're going to get right in. So, today we're going to do some turkey stuffing roll-ups. Street style. Freestyle cooking with streets, y'all. You know what I mean? Like that little bit of, you know, you, got that, you get that Thanksgiving taste sometimes where you want that turkey and stuffing. Well, we're going to do a real simple, easy turkey and stuffing recipe all right so what i got on the board just a couple of things that i need i got some sliced turkey you know from my local market i got it sliced thick you know so so our rolls is nice and husky you know you don't really want no you know no thin slices so i can show y'all i got to cut thick you know what i mean got some roasted turkey here all right also got some, we're gonna make some stuffing, all right? So I got me some herb stuffing mix. Half a uh, stick of butter, got some carrots, celery, shallots in there, you know, no shallots, you can use onions. I got some, this little mix I got, some fresh rose, rosemary, some thyme, some sage mixed together, uh, some fresh garlic diced up, some chicken broth you know this this that's we about to get started y'all okay so we're gonna go ahead uh let's get this thing started get my pan out and let's do it so, all right y'all got my pan out all right so we're gonna go ahead and heat my pan up put it on uh put it on the medium high all right i'm gonna get that a second to heat up and this is one of those dinners guys that's just you know real fast and easy you know you want to be real quick you know you go to the market get some sliced turkey you know you can even do um because i didn't have no uh no no stuffing on hand no box of stuffing like you could buy a box of stove top use that make your homemade stuffing whatever but you just get a box of stuffing some sliced turkey boom you basically right there you know serve it up with whatever kind of size you like all right, so that's what we doing, man. Real, real easy turkey roll up. Say, real simple. Y'all love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop my half a stick of butter in there. Let that start to melt down. Now that my butter started to melt down, it's almost fully melted. I'm gonna go ahead and get my carrot, celery, and shallots up in here. All right, and we're just gonna uh, cook these for a couple of minutes. And two, three minutes, not long. I'm telling y'all, this is real easy, and this is a real easy, quick way to make stuffing. I did stuffing videos before. There's different ways you can make stuffing in the oven, on the stove top, you know, uh, regular bread. You could go buy the package, the herb, the stuffing mix, the cube stuffing. There's endless ways to do stuff in y'all. Alright, so we're just gonna saute this for I said about two, three minutes. And then I'm gonna add my garlic in. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my garlic in. I just love the way the veggie smell with the butter, man. It's just mm, 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 mm. And I'm gonna do this for about another minute. Just let my garlic get, you know, incorporated with my veggies. Get that flavor up in my pan. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my seasoning and I'm only, uh, I only got like a, 
a, a half bag that I had because I had used this already. So I'm only using a teaspoon of each season out of the sage, the rosemary, and the thyme. And the same as with the veggies, I use like one celery stick, you know, one shallot, you know what I mean? And just a little bit of shredded carrots I already had in the fridge. But depending on how much you're making, you, you know, you'll just you'll just go according to, like if you're making a whole bag, and that's a, uh, I think this is a 12 ounce bag. With this bag, you probably would need two teaspoons of each of the seasonings. You know, a whole onion, uh, you know, a couple of celery sticks. All right. Oh yeah, them herbs just boost the whole smell. That's gonna boost the flavor of my stuff again. All right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add. About a cup of the chicken broth, y'all. For what I'm for what I'm doing. I might even need a whole cup. Maybe a half, a little over half a cup. I'm gonna go with that right there. Alright, and I'm gonna go ahead and bring this to a boil. And if you don't got no chicken broth, you know you could use some water, regular water maybe some uh poultry seasoning and chicken seasoning you could add to it but the chicken the chicken broth just gives that extra that extra flavor you know what i'm saying over plain water so you know real quick real quick easy stuff and flow all right as you can see we got our broth coming to a boil with the veggies so now i'm gonna go ahead Pouring my uh, cubes, and I just want to go ahead and incorporate that up. At this point, you can turn off the heat, y'all. We just want to sure we get that mixture all incorporated with the cubes. Oh yeah. So we got our stuff and coming together, y'all. And depending on how much uh, turkey you bought from the store, which again depends on how many people you're cooking for. I mean, any leftover stuff, and you can know that just could be just, you know, you could use that for something else, or you know, uh, leftovers for another meal for the side, or you could add it to your bacon dish with your turkey rolls. I mean. It's your flows, whatever you want to do. So once we get this all incorporated in, while it's sitting and resting, we're gonna go ahead and right now after this, I'll heat my oven up to 375. Get my oven ready. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and get my bacon dish, and we're gonna start rolling up our turkey rolls, y'all. All right, y'all, got my bacon dish greased up. Now we're gonna get to rolling our turkey. So that's how y'all gonna do. So y'all gonna take a slice. Get your stuffing. There we go. Get it up in there real nice. Alright, and you're just gonna go ahead and roll it up. And you get the nice thick pieces if you get it, you tell your uh the guy at the deli or woman at your deli to cut your meat thick so you ain't got to worry about it ripping or tearing or anything like that boom there we go y'all we got one we got one turkey roll there we go put it in my pan in my bacon dish all right and you just want to continue for however many you're making for your family Or occasion that you're cooking for, you know. So 
Yani o bakın Nazım'ın There we go Boom There we go y'all Nazım'ın Alright we just gonna keep continuing on Until I get all my rolls rolled up Okay There we go Let's do it We got our rolls rolled up now, like I told y'all, that little bit of stuff I had, I only had that's what I had left after I rolled up all the meat I had. So I'm gonna just go ahead and throw it in there in the oven, you know. And we're just gonna eat that with our, you know, with our dinner. You know what I mean? Cause it's it's you know that little bit is not enough for like a leftover flow. So we just added it in there. Now I got some gravy. Now you can buy a jar of gravy, make your own gravy. But I got some gravy here from. This is also, this is some leftovers we had, you know. I apologize for not sharing this video with y'all, but trust me, I got y'all. You know what I'm saying? This was a, like a like a like a turkey stew, like a turkey and gravy. Also, I used lunch meat gravy for this also. But this recipe, you could use turkey breast, but I ain't even gonna start there. Like I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna show y'all the video. I'm gonna share it with y'all. Bring it to y'all, man. My bad. But I'm going to use the gravy, this gravy that I made for this recipe and use that on top of my uh, turkey rolls. Alright. So we're going to do it. And trust me, y'all, when I show y'all this recipe, this, this gravy, I got all types of herbs and this is going to, you know, just add a whole nother flavor to the turkey rolls. And like I said, you could have, you know, you could buy your own gravy. You know, if you want, you don't have to put no gravy on it if you don't want to. They'll still be tasty. But you know, if you want that Thanksgiving type of, you know, filling or flavor, you know, you need that gravy with your turkey. Come on now. Come on now. You need that gravy with your turkey. Go ahead and put some on the stuff. Put a little bit. See, this is why leftovers is always handy, y'all. You can you can use your leftovers with other recipes. You know, make use of your food, man. I don't like to waste anything. Trust me when I tell you. I get mad if I gotta throw something away because I just be trying to bring you guys so many recipes, and I'll and I have like, you know, leftovers start to get like, oh. Because when I got that feeling to cook something or share something, I just I just go ahead and do it. Go right in. I just keep moving. That's all. That's what I like to do. And I love cooking. That's what freestyle cooking with streets is all about, man. You love cooking. So hopefully y'all you know y'all trying these recipes. Y'all you know, got the comment, man. Y'all got to holler at me. Y'all got to let me know. Like, okay, you know, you need to know how to get something, an ingredient, a measurement, a you know how did it taste? I need to know all that, man. You know, we family here on this champ. All right, so there we go. All right, so we got that. All right, so hopefully you had already had your oven preheated at 375. We're gonna go ahead and throw that in there for about 25 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes, y'all. All right, we'll be back. Let's do it. There we go, y'all. We got our turkey roll-ups plated up, ready to go. That's what I'm talking about. They looking real good, real nice, nice color. Got that stuffing, you know, that extra stuffing we had that we put to the side. All right, went ahead and sliced the piece so y'all can get a look at what it looked like on the inside. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Y'all can eat this with any size y'all want, man. Mash. Rice, green bean, whatever size y'all want, man. Real easy dinner. Alright, so please subscribe, like, share, hit that notification, man. Leave some comments. Let me know if y'all tried it. You know. Oh, yeah. Definitely looking good. Holla.